After the San Diego Unified District Board meeting last night, members announced approval for more than 400 layoff notices, all in an effort to balance the budget. Fox 5's Delaney White joins us live with what this decision means for many employees. Delaney, good afternoon. Good afternoon. The school board president tells me though the elimination of more than 400 positions was approved, they haven't decided on a final number. And they're hoping that final number will be much lower. There are ways to balance the budget besides cutting educators that our students need. At a school board meeting on Tuesday, the San Diego Unified School District announced the approval of layoff notices for more than 400 positions due to a budget deficit. There will be about 484 positions eliminated. Union educator Kyle Weinberg describes the decision as rash and unnecessary. We don't think that this is a trend. We know that there are no certificated layoffs in Chula Vista or Sweetwater school districts. Weinberg says he thinks the district can handle the budget deficit without resorting to layoffs by utilizing attrition and the district's reserves in order to balance the budget. San Diego Unified Board President Shauna Hazan says through using an attrition model and maximizing reserves available, the district has reduced the number of layoff notices. We've been able to decrease the actual number of people impacted from that 484 um, down to about 250 who will get the notice. And again, we are hoping and expect that that number will be smaller. This will impact schools when an educator that students had this year won't be back at their school next year. Hazan says despite the significant cuts, the district is trying to ensure students are not negatively impacted. Our commitment is to keep as many people as possible. Weinberg remains hopeful the district will consider alternative ways to balance the budget. We will continue to push back against the San Diego Unified Board and district leadership. Uh, so that they will explore other solutions that are more wise in order to balance the budget. And Hazan tells me those notices will be mailed out to district employees by March 15th. Reporting from University Heights, Delaney White, Fox 5 News. Delaney, thank you.